Francisco Castillo and my coffee grower in Guatemala. I own Finca La Cruzita. Um, it's located in Santa Rosa. Uh, it's 15 hectares. Uh, it's a small farm, but it produces very good coffee. It's altitude is 5,500 feet. Climate changes and uh, have given more stress to our coffee. So we've had to study more and understand better our plant as a single unit. We have data that has shown that in the past years it rains the same amount, although it rains faster. So this has an influence in the plant's behavior and in the amount of nutrients the plant has available uh, for her nutrition. So yeah, we keep records of wind, we keep uh, records of rain, how many days rain, how many days we have clouds and how much time of sunlight do we have every day. We're going to be talking about how climate change has made us better coffee growers. We've encountered difficulty the past years and that has made us uh, study more our plants and understand what their processes are better, like respiration of the plant, how the plant interacts with different uh, stress, like the production of abscisic acid, and how this abscisic acid will affect the amounts of sugar that will go into your coffee grain, therefore affecting the density of the coffee grain. And for us, density has a direct relation with coffee flavor. So that's basically what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about how we needed to study and understand our plant to be able to help her come out of that stress environment. This is all related to a theory which is called the Cook Theory, which says that any living thing that's living up to today is able to manage by itself any threat that comes along, otherwise it would be extinct. Now, when we take the plant from its natural environment and we bring it into an intensive uh, culturing like coffee plantations, we add stress to them. And this stress is what causes the plant to not be able to perform as it was in the natural environment. So we studied every factor of those and we're going to be talking about that. Well, Who's going to buy the coffee next year? <laughs> well, I think climate change is something that's not going to go away. It's going to be there for a long time. It's going to get a little bit hotter. It's going to make coffee production have to change. And uh, I think what I want to uh, make people understand is that we need to investigate more our coffee plantations. We need to understand them better and we need to look towards a future that's going to be hotter and with different rain patterns and this will definitely, definitely affect the way we manage our plantation if we want to keep up the quality that we have already.